Sport Club is a space, a space where you can really explore um, the fusion of different types of forms. And this forms that we're trying to fuse are uh, spoken word, poetry, lyricism, and theater, and seeing how the two things kind of come together, where they meld, where they merge, and where they break apart. The estate I live in looks like an index fingered insult. When we were kids, we thought it was a pencil for God. My play is about a soldier who comes back from Iraq quite damaged, and um, he speaks to his friend, who's a sort of a social misfit, who's thinking about um, going to war, and um, he has to convince him not to. But you know, it's not so much a play about war, it's a play about friendship. You know, it's the kind of play where if you've ever changed from a friend, you know, and realize how deep and hurt the changes are. Um, so it's really about friendship with, ro with war as a backdrop. When we were teens, we thought it was a corner post for giants or even the Trump Towers. I thought in four flat, a penthouse. But now I see why mum called it a sky prison. I had not written a full length two-hander before. Um, I'd done some 10 minute two-handers, but writing a, a longer two-hander, you know, you have to be uh, very strict about story, very strict about dialect and getting differentiations between the two. Um, and I also wasn't writing about myself. So I had to do some levels of research and get that sorted. And, and how to make the story full, how to really handle time, how to move backwards and forwards, and um, how to get into like an interior space of the mind. A lot of those things were new things for me. And um, it was actually fun working it out, but it was very tough for me to get to understand you know, how it works and how it balances. Now it's an index fingered insult. That's what it looks like to me. One of the things I realized is the process of, uh, as you do each draft, it leads you to another draft. So you, you nearly have to get bad drafts out of the way and keep on going and keep on making changes and keep on believing in it. 